Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name's Kathy Crabb. I'm a soul reader, astrologer, artist, oracle deck maker here in not so sunny Southern California. Um, today it's raining and it's feeling very healing. Even though today we will be celebrating the Leo, very fiery um, upcoming full moon. And the full moon is on January 28th. 2021. So let's just begin our sacred circle today by lighting some sage. I've collected this from my road where I live. Just take a moment to bless your space, say an affirmation or prayer. I'm circling our space with sage. I'm going to light a little more to bless, purify, cleanse our circle together. Okay, and if you have any guides, ancestors, divine, divines, higher power, you'd like to call upon to be with you today in this full moon circle, then I just invite you to ask them to be with us today. Just take a moment, we'll do the same. <sighs> Mother Earth, Father Sky, please be with us today in this full moon circle. Blessed be. So today uh, we'll be delving a little bit into the astrology, upcoming astrology, and we'll be looking at uh, zodiac goddesses. We'll be looking at an herbal cat for the full moon. And I'll also be um, pulling two cards and you can choose a card, pick your card for this full moon. Ah, so to begin, uh, we'll start with the Leo goddesses. And these are goddesses from my 32 card deck. It's a Zodiac goddess power deck, comes with a little guidebook. I use the guidebook to help set up my altar with Leo um, influenced ruled things such as the I've got some uh, citrus, I've got spinach, I've got um, diamond, amber, topaz, um, things like that. I've got some olive, uh, an olive branch and also rosemary. So with Leo, we've got some fiery goddesses right here. We've got Sibel and her affirmation, she's a mountain goddess, is I am generous and loving. Here's a Leo fire goddess. My heart is open is her affirmation. So when we're working with um, Leo this full moon, Leo is a fire sign. It helps open our hearts. It helps us be more generous. It helps us be more creative, more in tune with our inner child. So those are um, a few things to keep in mind when you're allowing yourself to blossom into the fulfillment of, if you set an, a new moon intention. Uh, this is the flowering or fulfillment of that intention and of the moon or the month. So let's look a little bit at the astrology. Um, this year, as you know, we've got a lot of um, intense uh, but empowering uh, energy coming in. Uh, we've got um, We've got Saturn and Jupiter are conjunct right now. You can see that in the night sky here in Southern California. Um, so with Saturn and Jupiter, we're looking at um, growth. Uh, we're looking at creative breakthroughs, collective and personal growth. Um, this month, actually, we've got a little bit of tension with uh, that Saturn and Jupiter squaring, which is a difficult aspect, um, Uranus and also Mars. 
So we might have some tension, like I mentioned, um, cultural breakdowns, um, working with our sh the shadow on a collective and personal level, and we can really see that. Uh, creative breakthroughs are a good way to look at this or to work with this, um, looking at it as an intense time, a new era. Uh, so, uh, yes, Jupiter and Saturn have also just gone into Aquarius, so we're welcoming in that more Aquarian energy. Uh, we're in an Aquarius cycle right now with the Sun, um, having gone into Aquarius on January 19th. So, um, with Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius, it's a new 20-year cycle, so we're looking at, re we're rethinking society. Also coming up, we've got Mercury retrograde um, January 30th till February 20th. And in an Aquarius uh, time sign, we're looking at rethinking our communication. So it's Mercury appears to be going retrograde, meaning communication, slowing down, not necessarily, we're not going forward like we'd like to. So not a good time to sign contracts or buy a car um, or a computer. Uh, so we're going to be tending to what is left unsaid. A good time for that right now while Mercury's retrograde. We've also got coming up, we've got uh, in bulk midwinter on February 2nd. Um, that's a Brigid or Breed Irish Celtic goddess, uh, goddess festival. Also a Chinese New Year, Iroquois New Year. Um, Christian would be celebrating it as candle mass. So I think that about covers the a little bit of the astrology uh, right now and we'll go back now to working with the Leo full moon self-expression heart energy in this reading. So yeah I like to use these date books to tune in to what's happening astrologically that's the wee moon that's the uh, North American. This is the creative cronies um, and this is a New Zealand uh, moon diary and I'm very happy because I'm in in this um, their calendar and their diary quite a few times with my artwork so yeah both of those are wonderful for checking out um, and getting inspired by art and astrology okay so let's uh, a little bit of a Leo here's a Leo meditation and this is from my zodiac goddess playbook. The gold within. Feel the sadness of earth's cry. Lift up your body and touch the sky. You guide by light your soul's fire. Spark to lead ever higher. And rich souls as you burn within, release your sun. Taste freedom within. Should help get you in a little bit of the Leo spirit. Next, we're going to look at the uh, herbal message for this um, full moon, and this is actually from a new deck. This will not. This was my version of the deck. Um, Thirty. It's going to be thirty-six fairy. Uh, sorry, uh, cat herbal healing cards. And that's coming out this year. So the Leo cat is Juniper. And I'm just going to read you a little bit from Elizabeth Brooks, an astrological herbal for women, about this herb of the sun, Juniper. So, um, Juniper is associated with the base chakra, where the kundalini or serpent power lies dormant. Uh, Juniper is useful for those who are blocked on the physical plane, generally earthy types, 
those with a, a lot of Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in their charts. Um, it's also helpful for, if you're looking for a more spiritual way of life and you want to embrace fire. Uh, the root or the base chakra is associated with those who are trapped into living only to survive, who cannot because of fear, hatred, or anger move forward and toward a more refined emotional expression. Juniper helps you be more detached emotionally and to move on from obsessions or resentments, from anger and from violence. Being fiery, Juniper can also help to dry out watery types who become lost in a sea of emotion. Fire provides focus and direction. It energizes the will and gives the courage that watery types sometimes um, need more of. So juniper berries, juniper, um, the uh, branches, uh, all kinds of things can be worked with. So I've also, um, here's the actual, the original I wanted to share with you, which is up on my website. And this is a watercolor. And then I'm also, um, I've also got hand signed prints of juniper available for you to help bring in that fiery energy. Okay, so um, now I'm going to have you choose a card if you'd like. I've got, these are uh, two more of my decks. This is the Lefty Oracle deck. It's a 50 card uh, deck that I drew with my non-dominant left hand. And I've also got the Elfin Ally Oracle deck, a um, 72 card deck of spirit animals. So pick one of these cards, pick one or two. So take a moment, get centered, focus in on your breath, relaxed breath. If you have a question or an issue, something that's going on, take a moment to bring that forward and into this little reading. And then pick your card, one or two. Okay, so I've gone ahead and chosen the cards beforehand. We've got Carolee. And our second card is the seal. Okay, so I just want to read you a little bit about Carolee from the... Um, so this, this particular deck comes with a 92-page guidebook which I've printed out, it comes as a PDF. Her mantra is, I am free. Affirmation, I dare to be free. Element, earth. Here's her song. I am moon, I am stars, I am sun, I am earth. You, with your lies and false promises, will never crush me. I am woman, fierce, gentle, proud, defiant. I am you. This card appears in a reading. You are more than ready to forge ahead. You are brave and you are going for it. Nothing or no one can stand in your way. Simple. In my own life, this card also speaks of raw, naked ambition and flaunting it without shame, or fear. It's a feminist card, a fighter card, a power card. Blessed be. Okay, so if you picked card number two from the Elfin Ally Oracle deck, that card is seal. And on the back, keyword, kindness, meaning a friend or lover awaits your call. Reversed, you are longing for something better instead of being fully present. So I've also got a guidebook that comes with this deck as well, and I will read you a little bit from that. Astrology is Jupiter. Medicine, seal medicine. Your playful magic entices us to claim our inner queen, sea bent on journeying into the deep. Ah, 
and here's her lore. A secret passage to the sea, adored by silky seal, was her true north, encompassing her heart and leading her home, always home from whence she got her start. You entice me to play and dive and learn about the cycles of the sea and then forget I'm an elf and become one with the sea, a mermaid at heart. Okay. So there we go. Also, I'll share with you, this is my first um, painting. Actually, my second painting of the year. And... This is, I can't remember her name now, she's got several names, but she is the daughter of Aphrodite and Hermes, and she is also on my website right now. So, okay, what I'd like to do now is help us tune in more to this full moon by channeling with the help of all these cards that I've pulled. I'm going to channel a guided meditation for you. just want to lay out all these cards so I have them in front of me for inspiration. Ah, okay, so let's just take a moment to get centered, even more centered, calm, feel ourselves sinking into our seat or if we're lying down, just relaxing, relaxed breath. Mother, goddess, goddesses of the sea, goddesses of fire, air, earth, be with us in this reading, in this meditation today. I'd like you to envision yourself right now in a lovely garden filled with your favorite flowers. Imagine them blowing gently in the breeze, their colors, their scents. Feeling the light and gentleness of the, the sun shining upon you through clouds, fast moving, slow moving, dreaming clouds in the sky. Find a comfortable place in the garden to really take in all the beauty. <sighs> Feel yourself getting even more comfortable, relaxed, protected and safe in this enchanted garden of wonder and beauty. Reaching out your hand as a butterfly alights. Imagine the wings, the shape, the colors, the quiet, the tingling sensation of butterfly feet on your skin. Ever so gentle. Imagine yourself now being able to take a ride on the back of this butterfly, securely, securely fastened in, feeling the flutter of the wings all around you, lifting you off, up, into the air, into the warmth, into the gentleness of the breeze. As you get a different view of your garden, what do you see? Take it in, breathe it in, feel the wonder. Your 
joined by other creatures of the air, some fairies and sylphs. Some friendly bees collecting their honey for the queen. Feel yourself buzzing around, fluttering around, gently alighting on a flower, your favorite flower in the whole garden. Take a moment to be with your flower. The butter butterfly descends a little bit further so you can actually poke your head into the flower, getting closer and closer. Not overwhelmed in any way, just immersing yourself in the beauty completely. Feel yourself hearing the flower. It's speaking to you, it's speaking in flower words, in fairy language. Is there a message there, a gift there, an answer there for you? Or a question? Take a moment to really resonate. I'll give you a moment. Okay, now coming out of the flower, back securely on the butterfly, as your butterfly again takes off through the air, back to that comfy, cozy spot where you first met your butterfly. She settles you, or he settles you down, back into that spot where we started. You thank your butterfly ever so much for leading you on that beautiful, beautiful journey to your favorite flower. And you say goodbye. You feel yourself back on the earth, your feet securely planted, grounded, rooted on Mama Earth, back in the present, when you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back to this video. <sighs> I'd love to be able to hear what you experienced. Um, if you want to share that in the comments here on this video or on my blog, please visit my blog because I'll be sharing all the cards in more detail and I'd love to hear what you experienced. For me, I really felt how doing this work I do as a soul reader, an astrologer, an artist, it's, it's my water. It's like watering me just like the flower needs water to thrive and bloom. That's my water, that's my element. That's my nourishment, doing this work, being with you, sharing this kind of, uh, this moment, this m moment in time. Ah, so I'll just send you on your way with uh, much love and blessings on this beautiful full moon. I hope you can see it. And please visit me at kathycrab.com. And I hope to hear from you. Blessed be and thank you.